everybody. I'm James Cebulski, along with Ray Ferraro. We are so looking forward to the action on this one tonight. Cammy's one of those guys who's an attraction selling tickets for this one, Ray. Dangerous offensive player. He can skate and shoot the puck. Any team would be lucky to have him. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Well, the hype for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. Knocked out the puck. Quick pass to Dubuis. Centering pass in front. Sets up from Gretzky's office. Scores! They're on the board early. Yeah, there's also a lot of people not in their seats yet. Man, that was quick. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. Rochester scored first. I don't think the anthem singer is even off the ice yet. This is the plan. Quick start. I don't think anybody thinks it's going to happen this fast. Moves it to Vault. Here's a short pass to Vault. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Heads to the back of the net. Let's one go. Gets in front of it. Handles the puck. Quick feed to Bauer. Taken by Bauer. The Tigers have it behind the cage. Moves it quickly over to Vault. Vault's carrying it ahead. Quick pass to Bauer. Rochester's ready to go on the attack. Colorado Springs has possession of it now. Slides it over with pace to Harper. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, you're not going to get much better scoring chance than that one, but the goaltender makes an excellent stick save. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Pomeroy's won the draw, and he slides it quickly to Cook. Stone's got the puck, and that's broken up with a stick in front. Bradley's gaining momentum. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. And let's see what the call is. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there and it didn't yeah, work. it doesn't work. No, no, none. The Tigers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. They've worked on the power play a lot in practice over the last couple of days. This is their first one tonight, and they'll want to execute what they've worked on, which is to win the draw and start moving the puck. Sends the pass over. Moves it to Gonzalez. Hammond's got it on the offensive end. Puck picked up by Pulak. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. That goes wide. Grabbed along the board by Pulak. Slides the pass over to Gonzalez. Let's it go. Air mails it over the net. We got half of it right. He got rid of it quick, but he shot it too high. It's not even a shot on that. Now a quick pass to Hammond. Off target. Scooped up along the wall by Bradley. Can't get it to go. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Clearing attempt. And they finally get it down the ice and a chance to catch their breath. Man, it looked like that puck was never going to come out of the zone. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a short pass to Wilms. On the attack along the boards. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And manages to clear the zone. Rochester's got a hold of the puck. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Just slide to the net. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. 1-0 the score. 
Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Gets it out of his own end. The Tigers gain possession along the wall. Near the point. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Off the mask of the goaltender. Boy, right between the eyes. Moves the puck. Sent into the offensive zone. Rochester's got the puck along the boards. Strong penalty killing execution as both sides are now back to even strength. A lot of head shaking on the bench when you go back after a power play like that. Well executed. Lots of pressure. Just couldn't finish. Slides the puck over. Blocked in traffic. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Quick feed to Dubuis. Dupuis dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. Moves it quickly over to Dubuis. Really solid shift here. Their puck possession game has been outstanding. Now they've got it again, and they can hold it down underneath the blue line. Plus brings it in. Sends a pass over. Oh, and it goes off the stick! Take it along the wall by Harper. Skates in behind the cage. Gets a puddle on it to make the save. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Wow, did the ice get small for him. There's nowhere to go, and he had to absorb this huge hit. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. With possession along the wall. Battling for it along the boards. Directs it on over to Nichols. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. The Tigers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Puck set across the blue line. The Falcons have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Stone swooping in on the attack. Gets that puck back on a stick. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Gets the glove on it. Yager's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that's picked off in front. Knocked away. Here they come on the attack. Quick pass to Hammond. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Solid check to slow him down. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he somehow gets a piece of it with the glove to keep it out. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. More than half the period left to play. one nothing is where we sit at this point. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And he comes up with it. Quick feed to Gonzalez. Gonzalez plays it into the offensive zone. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Picked up along the wall by Bradley. Takes it across the blue line. Turns him away. Colorado Springs gets the puck near the boards. Bowers got it against the boards. Nice feed from the boards. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Colorado Springs holds the shot advantage here in the first period, yet they still trail in this game. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves it to Bauer. And now he moves it quickly to Bauer. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And he makes the save. The Falcons are still trailing here in this first period despite the opportunities they've had. Kruger's won it in their own end. Kulak's going to play it against the half wall. Centering pass. And he can't find his man. Rocked him along the wall. 
Wow, did he finish that check off hard. He had him in the lights and he didn't let him out. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Colorado Springs has had some good looks, but they still find themselves trailing in the first. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Carries it across the line. Rips it. And scores! On the rebound, he pots it! Get to the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there and he puts it away. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Rochester's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Setters jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Carries it in. Moves the puck forward to the middle. Takes a blast. Comes up with the stop. The Falcons need to find a way to answer back here in this first period. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Takes the feed. And he easily stops that one. Tries to get it to Bruce. Into the offensive end now. Back at the point, they set it up. And it's a quick pass to Volk. And he can't hang on after that hit. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Harper. Moves it around along the half wall. Let's it fly. And that one stopped. Colorado Springs has had more shots, and yet they still find themselves behind in the first. Thomas wins it in the offensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Cook. Nice pass. Lynn's got the puck along the blue line. Forces the turnover. Walker's got it into offensive territory. Let's it go. Denied by the goaltender. And he was slowed up. Hooking looks to be the call as the official's arm goes up in the air. Walker's going off for hooking. I guess at a certain point you gotta let the guy go, but he worries that he's out of position, so he tries to slow him down with a hook. Pretty cut and dry call. And their first chance to use the man advantage. I always felt on the power play, the first one was really important for any team. If you stumble around on the first power play, guys start to press as you get more and more of them through the game. Tries to get it out of the zone. Off the glass and out of the zone. Consider that a win for the penalty killers for now. You bet it is. Now they can get a change, get some fresh people on the ice. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. And manages to clear the zone. The Falcons will play the puck from behind the net. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Moves the puck along the half wall. Move to the middle. Here he is, wrists on net. Oh, going wide. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Centered out in front. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. Gets it out of his own end. Colorado Springs gains a hold of the puck against the boards. And he slides it quickly to XD. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Standing tall with the save. The Tigers will kill off a few extra seconds now. Over the line they come. Puck lands right back onto the blade. And he slides it quickly to Dubuis. Takes the feed. Receives the pass. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. Chance to breathe for the penalty killers as they clear the puck. Oh, solid play. It doesn't have to be the most attractive play, but that puck has to go out. Thomas has the puck against the half wall. 
Here's a shot and makes the save. Still lots of time left in the period, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. From the point, not even close! Wow, the net's in the same place for 100 years. He missed it by 20 feet. Colorado Springs has it near the wall. Rochester's got possession here in the offensive zone. Walker's now out of the box, and we are back to even strength. All a good power play is about 20%, James. That one falls in the other 80%. They don't get it done. The power play expires. Ronaldo's got it across the line. Colorado Springs takes possession along the wall. And now he angles it across to Riley. Puts it on net, and that sails high. Oh, you got to get it on target. He rifles it, trying to be too perfect. Jostles the puck loose. Stone's got it along the wing. Here's a short pass to Lynn. Along the half wall with the puck. Quick feed down low. Quick feed to Stone. They've totally controlled the puck here on this shift. Now they've worn the opposition down. Eventually, you get a scoring chance or they take a penalty. Oh! Good job. What an excellent opportunity, Ray. They worked their way into good shape. He's just not able to beat the goalie. Pass to Ronaldo. Directed over to Bradley. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Hammers the shot. Misses over the net. And that's blocked away. Rochester's got it now. Oh, and headhunting there. I think he did. Man, that thing is way over top of the net. Duras looks around. And that's broken up. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. On the attack along the boards. From the place 99 made famous. Gonzalez plays it now. Takes it across the blue line. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Takes the feed. With possession along the wall. And now he moves it to Lynn. Blast from the point! And that goes off a player in front. Back to the blue line. And he comes up with a big time save on that. The Falcons still have time to get back into it here in this first period. They've had the opportunities, just can't score. Thomas is quick on the draw. Takes a shot, and that goes wide. Sometimes you're so focused on shooting it quickly, you don't get it on the net. Moves it quickly over to Morenz. Through center along the wing. Right out front. Can't connect. Colorado Springs has possession of it now. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Slides it across. Here's a chance. And that's blocked. And makes the save. Past the halfway mark of this period. And it's a 2-0 hockey game. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. Jordan's carrying it ahead. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denies him on the play. Rochester's got a hold of it against the wall. Here we go, on the wraparound. Oh, James, that's close. I thought this was in. I thought the forward was going to be able to get to the post first, but he's not. That's a really strong save. No room right there. Feeds it down low. Brody's got it in the offensive zone. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Quick pass to Petrie. Petrie's got the puck through the neutral zone. Puts it in deep. Burrs works the puck in his own zone. Tries to get it over to Nolan. Wiggers got it on the offensive end. Hangs onto the puck. And the puck's booted away. And now it's over to XD. And that one's blocked! That's a great heads-up play to break up the pass.
Here's a howitzer at the net. What a stop as he puts out the fire. Oh, what a chance. Oh, James, he tried to get rid of that in a hurry. He just misses. Man, they've worked the puck around so well on this shift. They've totally worn out the defending team. About two things are going to happen here, it seems like. They're going to either take a penalty or they're going to give up a goal. This is a great shift. Here's a blast. Shuts him down. And they score. Huh. Better to be lucky than good. This thing bounces around and somehow evades the goaltender. I don't even really know how that ended up in the net. The Falcons counterpunch now, narrowing that gap to one still with half the period to go here. Nobody looks comfortable on the ice. A little bit of a helter-skelter game and lots of goals. You know I'd like that. Takes the pass. Stone swooping in on the attack. Handles the puck at the point. Knocked away. Moves it to XD. The Tigers have it behind the net. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. That's going to go over like a lead balloon on the offensive team's bench. You got to be safer with the puck. Just wide. You can go games without a chance from here. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. He's got a stride on the defender. Scores! Whoa! Wow, this is a great reaction, James. He doesn't have much time to finish it off. Takes a perfect shot. Wow, he rifled that past the goaltender. He had such good speed, the goalie's backing up quickly, but he can't get to the spot where the puck is. Rochester's found themselves in the driver's seat now with a two-goal lead. Nice offensive start. Really good start, really quick. Now you've got the other team scrambling around, but there's too much time left in the game to sit back and try to defend it. Be aggressive. Now a quick pass to Lynn. Rochester's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Ronaldo's got the puck, and now he moves it quickly to Walker. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Moves the puck along the half wall. Slides the puck over to Walker. Here they come on the attack. Sends it over. It's in the back of the net. He scores! Now you just stop thinking about the first goal. Now you got another. That's 30 seconds of work. I think we can officially call this one a route now. Yeah, this is a steamroll. This is old burn. Well, he gets to walk into this and pound it by the goaltender. Nobody picks him up in the high slot. Goalie's not going to get many of these. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Rochester's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. Calvert's won the draw. Dishes it to Volk. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And it's a quick pass to Walker. Colorado Springs tries to break out from their own end. Centering pass! Brilliant save, read it perfectly. Colorado Springs still trails late in this first period despite multiple scoring opportunities. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And puts it high. All right, goalie had to dock that thing with so high. Here's a short pass to Petrie. And that caroms right off the mask. Quick feed to Bauer. Carries it across the line. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Looks like tripping the call. Sometimes they're lazy. Sometimes they're just bad luck.
Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Well, they get another chance here. They've earned the power play. They haven't got anything on their power plays yet. Haven't had a lot of them, but here's a nice chance for them. Hammers one from the point. Can't get it to go. On their heels, trying to clear. Gets it out of his own end. The Falcons have it against the wall. Up along the wing. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. And manages to clear the zone. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Carries it in. Handles the puck. Out front, and that's picked off. Gets it out of his own end. Colorado Springs gets the puck near the boards. Sends the pass over. Nolan's got it against the boards. Puts it on net. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize. They do a nice job there. this one up over the goalie's glove. The room wasn't there until the goalie dropped into the butterfly, maybe a little early. Opened up some space up top. Here in the late going of the frame, Colorado Springs is still down by two goals. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Moves it quickly over to Calvert. Handles it along the blue line. Unleashes a cannon! And that carries off a stick. And we've got a two-on-one. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Over the line they come. Moves right to the middle. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Along the half wall with the puck. Moves the puck. Here's a blast! Just higher than that. He's probably going to get a word from his forwards about, hey, you might want to keep that down. We're in here fighting for a position. We get knocked over. The puck goes right over my head. Here's a chance. Right in the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. The Falcons have had their opportunities, but they just can't capitalize here in the late stages of the opening period. Nolan's won it off the faceoff. Picked up along the boards by Weger. Kulak's got it into offensive territory. Stopped by the goaltender. Hammond's got it now deep inside his own end. Pass to Gonzalez. Shot from the point. And that goes wide. Yeah, he's going to have to adjust the sights on that one. That thing's off target by a long way. And that one's broken up. Colorado Springs gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Off a stick. Colorado Springs has it near the wall. Plus gains the zone. Slides the puck over. Great hit on the play. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. Caught him just as he was picking up speed, and he's going to pay for it with the trip. Oh, you're spinning with him. You're trying to get your stick into the puck lane, and you end up tripping him up. Another chance here on the man advantage. They've been successful on the power play already, James. So now you get another opportunity. Do not relax. Go pile it on and get another one. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Here in the dying moments of this period, we've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. 
Puck is dropped, the play resumes. Tosses it on to Petrie. Petrie's going to play it against the half wall. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Coaches always say, James, don't try to make something out of nothing. In the lead, you've got to make the safe play. Big save. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. The Falcons continue to trail despite multiple scoring opportunities here in the late stages of this first period. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. On the backhand, gives them nothing in front. He smothered that in close chance. And manages to clear the zone. Colorado Springs takes possession along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Stone. Stone's got it along the wing. He grabs the puck here at the point. The Tigers will kill off a few extra seconds now. Gets it out of his own end. Colorado Springs has possession of it now. And he slides it quickly to Harper. Sends a pass over. Misses the net. Not going to be happy with this. He's got the opportunity to score. Doesn't register a shot on goal. Yager's picking up momentum through center. Set it out in front. And that's broken up. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Puck grabbed by Harper. Right in front with the shot. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Well, it's an opportunity for fans to stretch their legs here as the opening 20 minutes comes to an end and a chance for these players to catch their breath. Well, if you like goal scoring, this is a night tailor-made for you. 4-2 after 20. Hey, hockey fans. Follow the team all season long on the radio for every minute of play-by-play -play action. Both home and home. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two.
Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Colorado Springs wins the draw to start the period. They got to be quick, though, on this power play. Great heads up play by the defender. Oh, a clutch save. Takes the feed. Point shot. Oh, absolutely owns the crease tonight. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Colorado Springs has had the better chances, but they continue to trail. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Wide! Rochester's got a hold of it along the wall. And manages to clear the zone. Nice pass. Now a quick pass to Harper. The Falcons fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. He scores! Well, I like the way they stayed aggressive here, James. After scoring once, they didn't just settle the game down. They went after it again. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Colorado Springs is back to center ice, and now that much closer to tying things up. They're just filled with confidence and adrenaline now. Their bench exploded when they scored that goal to bring them to within one marker. Moves the puck to Dubuis. Moves it to Wills. Puck scooped up by Bradley. Rochester's going to play the puck from behind the cage. And the pass is picked off. Grabbed along the board by Weger. Maintain possession. The Tigers have it behind the cage. Bradley's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes the feet at the back end. Here's a short pass to Ronaldo. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Colorado Springs has really picked up the tempo over the last few minutes, but they still need another goal to tie. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Let's it fly. Big time stop there. Quick feed to Brody. Brody's got the puck along the wing. On the attack along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Lynn. Looped up along the wall by Pulak. Move to the middle. Let's it go. Oh, what a good opportunity right there. You don't get many chances. You want to finish them off. So he'll be a little frustrated as he heads back up ice. With the stop. Lynn's got it in the defensive zone. Passes on over to Cook. Takes the return feed. With possession along the wall. Rochester's got control of it now from their own end. Gonzalez takes it across the line. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Nolan's got it along the boards. Takes that pass back at the point. Mendez will move the puck behind the net. Quick pass to Stone. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Pretty easy call for the official, I think, James is. No kidding. He came from a long way, and you could see that this was going to have a bad ending. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. Well, they've gotten themselves to within one. Now they've got a power play opportunity to try and even the score. The best power plays always work when the feet and the puck are moving at the same time. Blast from the blue line. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Gets it out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Gets it over to Harper. Puts it on net. Not even close. Not close to anything. The net's been the same size for a hundred years. Here's a shot. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. And that one's broken up. And manages to clear the zone. The Falcons will play the puck from behind the net. 
along the wing up the neutral zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Brisbane in front. Oh, he's going to be shaking his head after that one. Yeah, you go back to the bench here, kicking yourself in the rear end. You've got a scoring chance, and you don't even get it on net. Puts it on net. Makes the save. Colorado Springs gets the puck near the boards. Riley's got it across the line. Moves it to Stone. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Gets it out of his own end. The Falcons gain possession along the wall. Takes the feed. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Colorado Springs has had multiple scoring opportunities, but they're still trailing early in this second period. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. That's sent in deep. Colorado Springs gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Here's a short pass to Dupuis. Dupuis got it deep in the offensive end. Looks to set up at the point now. And that one's broken up. The Tigers have it in the offensive end. Oh, what a stop. Trying to get it down the ice. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's a one-goal game here. 4-3 is where we sit. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Colorado Springs still has lots of time in this one, but they continue to trail despite numerous scoring opportunities. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Carries the puck up through center. Man advantage unit comes up empty-handed, and they're still trailing by a goal. Oh, they're going to rue that one. A chance to even the score here. They didn't get it done, and we go back to even strength. And that one's turned away. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Manages to hang on. Goalie plays it up. Moves the puck across to Thomas. Into the offensive zone. Takes the shot and rings the iron. Colorado Springs did everything right there to close the gap in this game. But the shot hits the post and stays out. Quick feed to Gonzalez. Hammond's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a shot and a great save. XD's got the puck in his own zone. Yager's gaining momentum. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that's picked off. Takes it across the blue line. Moves it quickly over to Ronaldo. Rips it. What a stop. And now it's grabbed by Thomas. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. McCabe stick handling in his own zone. Nice dish from the left wing. Puts the puck on net, and he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a grade A chance. Mendez carries the puck in his own zone. Moves it on over to Thomas. Receives the pass. Takes the pass. Colorado Springs gains a hold of it. Rochester's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Thomas takes it along the wing. Harper's got the puck. And he feeds it down to Jordan. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. From the opposite point. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Handles the puck. Here they come on the attack. The Tigers have it against the wall. Quick pass to Kruger. Kruger's got it against the boards. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. I know he doesn't like the call on this one. Nobody does, but I think he has a case here, Ray. Well, it looked like the penalty was going to be called, 
and then it got sold even more so. So that's a hooking call that he doesn't really like. Another scoring opportunity looms here. Well, what a great opportunity for them here. Trailing by a goal, you got a chance to even it up and you've got the man advantage. Denies him on the slapper! Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. And it's been a fun one here tonight. 4-3 hockey game. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And manages to clear the zone. Colorado Springs has possession of it now. Passes over to Nolan. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Falcons get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Slides the puck across to Nolan. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Along the half wall with the puck. Taken along the wall by Petrie. Oh, that's a smart heads-up play as he breaks it up with the poke. Colorado Springs has had a lot of good looks offensively, but they continue to trail in the second. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Into the corner of the attacking area. He scores! A short-handed marker! I don't think the penalty killers ever really look for a shorty, but if the opportunity's there, now they're more aggressive than they've ever been. Quick shot on the first attempt, but that rebound came right back to him. And he's able to settle it and put it into the net before anyone else can stop him. Rochester's got an insurance marker here. They now lead by two in the second. Don't back off, though. Keep pushing ahead. Play the game in the offensive half of the ice. Mers moves it into the attacking end. Drives it to the front of the net. Gets it to the other point. Puts it just wide of the net. Probably better off to take a little off the shot and get it on target. He's nowhere near the net. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. The Falcons go to work on offense. Under siege, trying to get it out of their zone. Big win for the shorthanded unit as they clear the puck from the zone. Yeah, no one's going to keep it in the zone when it goes off the glass at that speed. Shot! And there's the save. Gets it out of his own end. Colorado Springs takes possession along the wall. The Falcons look to start the transition game. Here's a shot! Turns it away! Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the Tigers have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Nolan's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Nolan. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And manages to clear the zone. Rochester's got it behind the net. Both teams back to even strength, and after giving up a shorthanded goal, it's an opportunity the power play unit would probably sooner forget. Well, that doesn't go according to plan. The power play's done, and they've given up a shorty. Those are always deflating. Stays with it. Right out in front, wide of the net. Just misses the net, but really, the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Stone's going to play it against the half wall. Takes a shot. Denies him on the play. Moves it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo's carrying it ahead. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And it's a quick pass to Calvert. Here he is. Shot right in front. Colorado Springs has it near the wall. Here's a short pass to Lynn. Move to the middle. Here's a rocket of a shot. They fight for it along the boards. Slides the puck down low. Takes the puck at the point. Snaps one from the slot, and that goes wide. Takes a slap shot from the point, and that one gets big air over the net. McCabe's got it on the offensive end. Pass back to the point. Stops the rocket of a shot.
here in the back half of this period. While fans being treated to some offensive fireworks, it's a 5-3 game. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. With the steal. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Big time defensive play. Here comes the official's call. Hooking the call and maybe a little sell job along the way? A little bit, but the player's got to move his feet. As soon as you stop, if it's even close, you're going to get down. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. The power play can be so frustrating when you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well. You start to press pretty quickly into it. Now's the time to relax, readjust, and attack again. Schilling's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. The Falcons have had a lot of scoring opportunities, but they continue to trail here in the second. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Morenz. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Hammond. Stone's got it along the wing. Picked up along the wall by Pullock. Back to the point it goes. Puck picked up by Stone. Puts it on net. Comes up with the stop. Colorado Springs still trails here in the second despite the fact that they've had more shots on goal. Off the try and a nice job locking up his opponent. Dumps it in. Colorado Springs gets a hold of the puck shorthanded and manages to clear the zone. Rochester's gained possession along the boards. Bruce is swooping in on the attack. Quick feed to Wilms. Here's a shot, blocker save. The Falcons get a hold of the puck along the boards. Gets it out of his own end. And leaves the comfort of his crease to play the puck. Looks to pass it to Bruce. Here's the pass. Blocked Whoa. in traffic. Special teams coming up huge on that goal. They take advantage of having the extra man by moving the puck quickly. That's a beautiful goal. killers make a mistake they give up a man advantage break and the power play doesn't miss with the extra man they score on the rush rochester's been dominant tonight as they make their way back to center they have scored almost at will in particular here in this second period Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Dished on over to Bradley. Feeds the puck up to Bauer. Feeds it up ahead. Sends the pass over. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Slides it back to the blue line. Rochester's got the puck along the wall. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Through center along the wing. Carries it across the line. On the attack along the boards. The Tigers gain possession along the wall. On the doorstep. Oh, and he missed the opportunity there. Bowers moving it ahead. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. McCabe's got it in the defensive end. Moves the puck. Comes up with the steal. That's a bad turnover, James. You can't really turn it over while you're ahead in that spot. Colorado Springs gains control of the puck. Slides the puck over. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Slides it diagonally to Ronaldo. Carries it in. Into the corner now. Rochester's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Brody. Sends a pass over. And doesn't go. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. 
chance in front, and he gets a paddle on that one. Takes the feed. With possession along the wall. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Right up the gut, here they go. From one point man to another. Comes up with the blocker save. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Crouton's lugging the puck. Over the line they come. Stick save from the goaltender. The Falcons scoop it up along the boards. And some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. And now he angles it across to Brody. Moves it around along the half wall. Hammers the shot and misses over the net. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Jordan's going to play it to the corner. And he slides it quickly to Bradley. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, smart heads on play to poke that one away. Picked up along the boards by Pulak. There's a shot, and that's broken up. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Quick pass to Cook. Lynn's taking it from his own end. Here they are on the attack. Here's a shot. Makes the save on the slapper. Moves it to Harper. Save made by the goalie. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Tough ones at that. Kruger's got it in the offensive zone. Nice pass. Blown opportunity. Oh, he put it wide. You don't get... Scores! Three is the magic number. And that goalie is getting just torched down there. Three in a row here. You can see he's looking on both sides of the traffic, trying to find the puck. When he finally catches up to it, he waves at it. A big move, but doesn't catch it. The Tigers don't seem to want this period to end here in the late stages of the second. No, this is fun time now. They're playing four lines and just rolling over top of them. And now he moves it to Thomas. And a great heads-up defensive play here. Takes the feed. Passes right to the front. Shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a shot. Just wide. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Colorado Springs still trails here late in this second period, but they've had plenty of good scoring opportunities. Thomas has won the faceoff. Rochester's got the puck in their own end. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Back at the point, they set it up. Thomas has the puck against the half wall. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Shuts him down. Cammy's picking up steam. Moves the puck along the half wall. Denies him in front. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Denies him again. He gets that one too. That's why a goalie can never relax. He makes one stop. Now he's got to be sharp to make another. Up along the wing. And he gains the zone here. Receives the pass. That goes wide. Takes the pass from the boards. Moves the puck down low. Pass right on the doorstep. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Here they come on the attack. Here's a chance. Off the crossbar. Grabbed along the boards by Walker. Oh, and he completely blew it on that miss. Yeah, you got to get it on the net, James. You've got an opportunity to score, and you don't even test the goalie. Colorado Springs has possession of it now. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Stones him in front. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. Calvert's got the puck along the wing. Here's an opportunity with the stop. Tries to get the puck over to Pulak. Takes the pass. They've got the defense outnumbered. To his teammate. Drips it and rips it. And that shot dies in traffic. 
Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Down here in the game, you've got to make something happen. They're forcing it a bit. Puts it up front. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Pomeroy's got the puck. From behind the net. Right in the slot. From point blank range. And that goes off a player. Now he takes it over the line. Here's a short pass to Morenz. Puck lands back onto a stick. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. The Falcons gain control of the puck against the wall. Brody's got it into offensive territory. Snaps it on net. Makes the save. What a reaction with the blocker. Oh, here we go. Big save by the goaltender once again. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Ooh, you don't want to be on the receiving end of that. That is a freight train that went right over top of them. Just here in the late stages of this frame. Nolan's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Denied by the blocker. Springs has had no shortage of offensive opportunities, but they have run into a hot goalie tonight. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Uyghurs got it against the boards. Quick feed to Petrie. Petrie's got it across the line. And here's a shot. Big time stop there. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Handles the puck. Stone's got it along the boards. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. All alone! Oh, what a stop! Goalie keeps his nose right over top of the puck to handle that deep to make the save. Intercepts the pass at center. Back to the blue line. No room for that one to get through. Nearing the point. 44 seconds left. Shot gets in front of it. Now he slides it up to Stone. Off the left wing and into center. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Shot misses a golden opportunity there. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Sends the pass over. They've got numbers. Handles the puck at the point. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Oh, and a great defensive play there. Quick pass across to Dubuis. Thomas is slowed down with the hook, and the officials caught it. Here comes the call for the official. Pretty cut and dry from up here, and the officials saw it firsthand with hooking the call. It's a penalty of being in bad position, and I think when you impede a player like this, they should call the hooking penalty every time. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Hammers the shot. Makes the save. Cool and calm under pressure. Hard sounds bringing the second period to an end. Listen up, fans. For tonight only, all team jerseys are 15% off regular price with the presentation of your ticket stub. Get yours before they're all gone. Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down.
And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. The Falcons win possession here as we open up the period, and that power play is still intact. Rochester's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck and manages to clear the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Moves the puck. Here inside the offensive end, takes the feed from along the boards. Gets it out of his own end. The Tigers have it against the wall. Here's a chance behind the net. Stopped by the goaltender. Stops him with the glove. Schilling's able to make the save as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Carries it across the line. Along the half wall with the puck. Great defensive effort with the strip. And manages to clear the zone. Stepping out of the crease now to play the puck. Slides the puck across to Harper. Harper's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a shot stopped by the goaltender. Colorado Springs has been the better team, but they still trail here early in the third. Nolan's won the draw from the slot. Blocker save. Rochester's got the puck now. Gets it out of his own end. Colorado Springs gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Carries it in. Sends it across. Rochester's got the puck shorthanded. Slides the puck over. Let's it go. And he comes up with it. Colorado Springs has played well tonight, but have struggled in the goal-scoring department despite numerous good looks on net. Offense his own face-off, and he wins the draw. Dupuis is able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Slides it on over to Nolan. Riley's got it along the wing. Knocked away. Oh. Scores! The power play had cashed in earlier. They do so again here. Really nice effort with the extra man. Power play's job is to create shots. And if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center, in the slot. He doesn't miss. Colorado Springs has a little momentum now here in the third. A goal will give you some, but they need a lot. They need to start piling the goals up. They might even get the goalie out really early. On the attack along the boards. And now it's over to Volk. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Hammers a shot. Oh, what a stop. The Falcons gain possession along the wall. Misses. It was right there, Ray. Oh, it's such a great chance, and he doesn't get the shot on net. Denied by the goaltender. Lots of time left in this period. Colorado Springs has got some momentum to build on. They've been the better team these last few minutes, but they still trail by three. With the blast. Log jam in front. That's broken up. Taken by Ronaldo. Gaining momentum up along the side. Centering pass. Fires one on goal. And he makes the save. The Falcons have been the better team tonight, but they still trail on the scoreboard early in this third period. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Off target. Nobody's going to be able to block that unless they're way off target like his shot was. 
sends a pass over. Couldn't light the lamp on that. What a chance. Sometimes the puck just doesn't go where you want to finish it. He makes a good shot, but he can't capitalize. With possession along the wall. Colorado Springs has it near the wall. Takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Bauer. Look out, a two-on-one. Out, scores! No, wait a second. The official waving this one off right away. The ruling is this puck was pushed in with a glove, directed in, and so the call is no goal. into the play, take a couple of chances. One is not going to do it. Puck picked up for the open ice. Takes it at center. Quick pass to Gonzalez. Handles it along the blue line. And they come up empty-handed. Puck scooped up by Morenz. Moves it to Weger. Over the line they come. Here's an odd man rush. And it comes up with the save. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Colorado Springs is trying to get back into this one, but they've got to find a way to get a couple goals in order to even things up. Gonzalez takes it inside his own end. Here's a short pass to McCabe. Just slide to the net. He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. Here's a shot. Oh, he misses an opportunity there. Looking to be too perfect. Get it on the net. You've got a better chance to squeak one through the goaltender than if you miss it outside the net. Colorado Springs must be a little frustrated offensively. They've had plenty of good looks, but they still trail early in this third period. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Here he is on the backhand. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. The Falcons have created numerous scoring chances, but they've just run into a hot goalie tonight here early in this third period. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Grips it and rips it. Too much congestion in front. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Cammy. Nice pass. Oh, I like this, James. They've really cycled the puck well on this shift. Now they can hold it, and you put the pressure on the defenders. Eventually, they pull you down, or you get a great chance. Mendez looks around. Takes the feed. Just wide. The Tigers scoop it up along the boards. Bruce is carrying it ahead. Slides it across. Well, the endless slew of penalties that have been handed out continues here as yet another one is being dished out. The good old-fashioned hook is sending him off to the box. He's almost in the right position, but he's got to give him a little hook. When he gives that tug, he goes to the penalty box and gets called every time. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Well, you can tell these guys must be bubbling with confidence here, James, because they've already scored on the power play tonight, and so they get another chance. They must feel good they have the formula tonight. Colorado Springs gains possession shorthanded and manages to clear the zone. And he comes up with it. Bruton's moving the puck through his own zone. Colorado Springs has it behind the cage. Gets it out of his own end. Rochester's got a hold of it against the wall. Puck grabbed by Harper. Takes the feet at the back end. Receives the pass. Takes the whack but still hangs on. The Tigers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Dishes it to Vault. Morenz brings it in. Let's it fly. Misses over the net. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. 
play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Lynn's getting two for hooking. You get caught when you don't move your feet. Now you've got to reach out to slow the player down. He's in the box. Rightly so. Special teams back out onto the ice, and it's a five-on-three man advantage as the puck gets set to be dropped. Too many times on a long five-on-three, the power play becomes static. Get it to the middle at the very least. Shoot it and make the penalty killers react. The Falcons still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And manages to clear the zone. Rochester's got the puck behind the net. Dupuis got it in the offensive end. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. It's a two-on-one. A chance on goal. And a great save. The Tigers will play the puck from behind the net. Works it across to Cammy. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. He scores! Three goals. The hat trick's in the bag. Here come the hats. What a great feeling as this place is jumping. the power play there. They move the puck around and they're able to find him right in the middle of the slot. Rochester's goal scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well skated, really forechecked. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. Hooking's the call. This is what yeah. they kind of call the lazy penalty these days, yeah, right? It is, but it, but really the problem is your beat and you panic and you're trying to help, and the more you help, the worse it gets. Go sit down. And he certainly dug himself a hole there. They'll go back to work on their special teams. This is the time, James, you get your skilled guys into the game more frequently. Four on four is open ice. It's danger if you have skill, and the team with the most skill is probably going to be the best. Came up with a big stop on that last opportunity. Kruger's swooping in on the attack, and now it's grabbed by Weger. He carries the puck up along the wing. Here's a shot, and that one stopped. Cammy swinging the puck through center ice. And now he tries to get it across to Vault. Stopped by the goaltender. Man, the teams have been going at each other since the very beginning of this hockey game. Nobody is back down. The body contact level has stayed extremely high. Colorado Springs needs to find a way to light the lamp as they trail in this third period. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Great hand-eye coordination as he gets the puck back. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Rochester's got the puck along the wall. Wilms takes it across the line. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Too many bodies in the way. The Tigers have it in the offensive end. The Falcons gain possession in their own end. Moves it around along the half wall. Fires one. Denied by the goaltender. Puck picked up by Volk. Carries the puck up through center. Penalty expires and the PP unit gets set to go to work. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Let's it go and makes the save. Takes that pass back at the point. Takes the pass from the point. Too much traffic in the lane. Takes the puck along the boards. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. A chance right in front. Rochester's penalty killers get a hold of it. Gets it out of his own end. And the goalie leaves his crease to play the puck. Time to execute here on this power play. Handles the puck, takes the shot, and makes the save. 
The Falcons come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. The pressure points on the penalty kill have been letter perfect tonight. They've pushed at the right times. They've sagged back at the right times. Gotten the requisite saves when they need those two. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Quick feed to Bruce. Takes a shot. Oh, he'd like a mulligan on that miss. Yo, oh, you got to get it on that, James. Yeah, the mulligan would be great because you don't even test the goalie here. You never had that happen, right? Many, many times. Just slide. He misses again. He's had so many chances. He's got nothing to show for it. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And that goes wide. Slides the puck across to Walker. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves the puck along the half wall. From against the wall, it's centered out. And now he angles it across to Calvert. Sends the pass over. Move to the middle. Let's the wrister go. Oh, you can't miss that. Uh, somehow I got 408, James. You don't get any if you don't hit the net. Get it on target, man. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Taken by Stone. Across the point. That sails over the net. This is one of those nights. It's not going your way, but the puck keeps coming back to you in a scoring position. Moves it quickly over to Ronaldo. Air mails it. Did he ever? He's got to bring that down a couple of feet. I need to take another look at that. I thought there was room to get by. Clearly, I was wrong. I'm glad I don't have to take the hit he just took. Colorado Springs has had more shots tonight, but that hasn't translated into the goal-scoring department as they trail in the third. Volk's got it in the offensive zone. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Puck lands right back onto the blade. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Jordan's gaining momentum. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Quick pass to Brody. Feeds the puck over to Nolan. Nolan's got the puck. The Tigers gain control of the puck against the wall. Through center along the wing. Moves it to Vault. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Puts it towards the net. Stopped by the goaltender. And now he moves it to Brody. Great read comes up with it. Moves it over to Vault. Feeds it on over to Petrie. Here's a short pass to Vault. Oh, and that goes wide. Not going to get many better chances from that. Dead center, right in the slot. Colorado Springs gets the puck near the boards. Burrs moves it into the attacking end. Centered out in front. Knocked away. With some momentum driving towards the net with the stop. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. That goes wide. Big save. Well past the midway mark of this period. Thomas wins it in the offensive zone. Here's the chance to set up now. Andrews on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Colorado Springs has been the better team. They've had more scoring opportunities, and yet they trail in the third. Thomas is quick on the draw. Quick feed to Bauer. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. While they trail, he's trying to make something happen. Off target! Colorado Springs gains a hold of it. Takes it across the blue line. Yager's got it against the boards. Hammers one at the net, blocked in front. McCabe stick handling in his own zone. Along the half wall with the puck. 
Moves the puck. Makes the save. The Falcons have been the busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Here they come on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Cook. Slides the puck over. Right to the middle. From the slot, fires away. And that one's turned away. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside. Right from the slot. Colorado Springs needs to find a way to light the lamp as they trail in this third period. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. That's blocked. Nolan's got it into offensive territory. Slides the puck near the front of the net. This has been a pretty tough shift for him, banged up in the middle of it. Now he's got to hobble his way to the bench. Hopefully they'll get the door open and he can get in and get some help from the trainer. And he slides it quickly to Cammy. Here's a shot, and there's the save. Angles it over to Cook. Here's a chance. Let's it go. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Oh, another opportunity. He's misfired so many times tonight. Lays into the body. Colorado Springs has possession of it now. Hangs onto the puck. Quick pass to Cook. Shot, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. In close! Gets a stick on it to make the save! Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Carries it across the line. Sends it over! Now a quick pass to Walker. Sends a pass over. Unleashes a cannon! Answers the call with a big save! Blues has been banged up here, and a lower body injury will take him out of the game. You see him headed back down the tunnel towards the locker room. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Takes the feed. Pulak's got it across the line. Here's a chance. Misses high. Not a bad shot. He just tried to make it too perfect and shoots it over the crossbar. Moves it to Nolan. Wiggers gliding the puck along the line. Slides that one right across the blue line. Rochester's got control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Walker. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. The Falcons have it against the wall. On the attack along the boards. With possession along the wall. Slides the puck down low. Nice pass. Way too much congestion blocks that. Carries it in. Here they are on the attack. Colorado Springs takes possession along the wall. Takes the feed. Receives the pass. Tees it up from the blue line. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And now it's over to Volk. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Looks to set up at the point now. Let's it go from the back end. Blocked in traffic. Takes control of the puck. Riley's going to play it against the half wall. Snaps it on net. Gives them nothing in front. Here in the late goings of the period. Thomas has won the draw. Here's an offensive chance. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Comes up with a stop. And another stop. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. Puck scooped up by Thomas. Pass back to the point. 
takes the pass. And now he moves it quickly to Thomas. Nice speed from the boards. This has been a heck of a shift for them. They've got them hemmed into the offensive zone. Now they can carry the puck around as the defenders are just going to play a tight box. They look exhausted. Colorado Springs is running out of time late in this third period as they continue to trail. Pomeroy's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Turns it away on the slap shot. The Falcons have had more scoring chances and yet they trail late in this third period. Kruger's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Over the line they come. Keeps hold of the puck. Shot. That goes off the mask. Uh, we used to laugh about this and say, oh, the goalie's got to answer the phone because his ears are going to be ringing. But I'm sure the trainer's going to check on him here as this hits him right in the face. Harper's got it to the side. Here's a pass down low. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Tried just a little bit too much there, James. Right up front! And a stick in the lane ends that threat. XD's got the puck in his own zone. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Big play inside the defensive zone. Directed over to Bradley. Handles the puck. Quick feed to Bradley. Back to the point it goes. Moves it quickly over to Cammy and tries to make a diagonal pass to Bruce. And he loses control of the puck. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. Here's a shot with the stop. Cook's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Stone's carrying it ahead. And it's a quick pass to Brody. Great read to break up the play. Colorado Springs has it in the offensive end. And an easy glove save on the play. The Falcons are running out of time as they trail late in this third period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Sends the pass over. Nice poke check. Oh, great play to use the wall handling the pass. Moves the puck. Pass stolen in the open ice. Brody's got it along the wing. And that's picked off. Takes it across the blue line. Colorado Springs has it near the wall. Moves it to Nolan. They've got the defense outnumbered. And he slides it quickly to Lynn. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Tigers scoop it up along the boards. Puck grabbed by Morenz. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. And they'll dump it in. Slides the puck over. Here they come on the attack. And he's able to handle that one. Colorado Springs has had a lot of good looks on net, and yet they trail late in this third period. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Into the offensive end now. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Centering pass! Wrist shot from the slot, turns it away! The Falcons need to find a way to convert one here late as they trail in the third. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Coming up on the final minute of regulation time. And he slides it quickly to Nichols. Bowers got it on the offensive end. Let's it go. Denies him on the play. And the goalie covers up for the whistle.
Colorado Springs desperate for some offensive conversions here late in this third period. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Gets in front of it. And now it's grabbed by Bauer. Excellent heads up play to knock that puck down. Calvert's picking up steam. Calvert's got it in the offensive zone. Goalie with a stop. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice. The goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. The Falcons are going to have to adjust here. They will not be getting that injured player back. He's done for the night. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Stone swooping in on the attack. Blistering shot! Turns him away! The Falcons have had more scoring chances and yet they trail late in this third period. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Obstruction penalty coming up. Looks like a hook here. Now a quick pass to Petrie. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. And it's going to be two minutes for hooking on the call. A lot of people debate, is this a lazy penalty to hook? I don't know if it's lazy all the time, but it's a penalty of being out of position. Your stick parallel to the ice, you get called all the time. Dupuis won the draw. Quick pass to Cammy. Sends a pass over. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. And that one flies over the net. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. Pretty good hockey game, and I guess they can say they did some good things, like they had a better face-off percentage, but not enough, James. Is this sometimes the case, though, the numbers lie? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, great, you won the face-offs, you didn't score enough. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.